Hello everybody, I'm David Sanchez with Comic Streamix here with the big dog of big dog, Tom How Hutchison. How's it going, man? Doing well. How you doing at the con, man? You got such a huge presence. Huge presence, yeah. It's our biggest show, biggest footprint at any show we've ever done. So it's been really exciting, really good. You know, as a, as a fan, I was off on the side, as a fan, it's been exciting to see you guys grow. And, and yeah, you guys are, are a big player. We see you as that because you guys are coming out with new creative all the time. You guys have fantastic artists like like your studio what you guys got going on you guys are doing something very amazing anything that you could uh, share with us that you have coming up um well our, our biggest thing right now is uh legend of oz uh, it's been great for us over the last year and starting in october it's going to be our second ongoing monthly book uh the entire band is coming back i'm writing allison borges is drawing and uh, kate finnegan is doing the colors uh, and the letterist hde over from the uk he's coming back on letters so everybody's coming back it's gonna be really good. So who does who does a lot of the the major plotting for your books? It's all me. It's, it's all, all me. I write uh, Oz, Critter, Penny for Your Soul, and Ursa Minor. Those so, are our four major books. Can you tell us about a bit about your background? Like how'd you get started? Uh, how'd uh, you say, hey, I want to be a publisher? I, well, I never said that. Um, that just came about because it had to come about. Um, I decided. Uh, God, I've, I've been trying to think about this. It's probably been about six or seven years, uh, I decided I wanted to go ahead and write my Critter book. I, I'd had her around for a while, and, and I decided I was going to take my shot at writing a superhero book. Um, as it turns out, Penny for Your Soul actually came out first, and that was just because the artist that we put on the book was so fast that he just, you know, he paced the guy who was doing Critter, so it just worked out that way. But um, I just wanted to write comics, and I did all the normal things. I pitched the image, Avatar, Arkea, whatever, all that kind of stuff. Um, to be honest, nobody even sent me back a, uh, a rejection letter, so I don't even have one of those to frame. I hear all these writers like, oh yeah, I've got this rejection letter on my wall. I don't even have that. So basically, that just kind of stuck in my side. And I was Your like, spam folder? Yeah, <laughs> spam folder. <laughs> spam not folder, even man. a spam folder. Not even that. Not even something as little as that. So it just basically uh, stuck in my side, and it was motivation to just basically do it on my own. I said, look, there's nothing that you guys are going to give me that I can't do myself. Uh, was what it comes down to, and uh, that was that was uh, two and a half years ago or so, and uh, now here we are. So uh, beyond Big Dog Inc., what are we gonna get to know about as far as Tom Hutchinson, the, the writer? Like, who were you before Big Dog Inc., and who do you want to be like when you're not writing comics? Uh, that's all I want to be. I, 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 I'm not right really. On, I mean, not to say that like if if somebody wanted to option Oz and wanted me to write the script, obviously I, I'd be happy to do it, um, but. You know, comics for me, I've been around comics one way or another since I was about 10 years old. Um, I, I've jumped out of comics only to come back. Comics have always been part of my life. And so to have the opportunity to now do comics for a living, that's it, man. I, I, I don't need anything else. How much are you influenced by film? And I ask that because of a lot of the, like how a lot of it plays out on the page. Mm -hmm. A lot of this, the cine, it looks like cinematic. Cinematic, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, think, I think I'm becoming more influenced by it recently uh, just because I have to keep drawing and I have to keep coming up with like you know panel one this angle whatever um, and, but more, even more specifically than that is I like a book that kind of moves a little faster uh, a lot of books right now especially the mainstream stuff um, it just kind of sits still for me there's a lot of guys just kind of standing there with just word balloons after word balloons after word balloons it's just too static you know I like things to really move so um, in my books you'll, you'll kind of see some cinematic sort of uh, tendencies to kind of you may see the, like the same panel a couple of times like they're looking here and then they're looking there it's just that's that's I like to put that kind of motion into the books and they may be small panels but we're just going to kind of keep you moving all the way through the book you know, and that, that's very cinematic that thought process that might be playing to like the strength of the artist mm -hmm. fluidity absolutely like, giving you the opportunity to be very fluid is really like a uh, flips that switch to like mm -hmm. really get in there like like them as an artist to put in a lot of their style absolutely so that's a great way to approach it i like that a lot yep. thank you very much for your time i really appreciate it man thank Good you to you. tom hutchinson david sanchez comic streamix thank you very much everybody thanks